it's a question of male vanity, having and keeping a full head of hair for as long as possible. Cosmetics company Dr. Kurt Wolf makes hair loss prevention products and trains hairdressers in their proper application. It's really important that you give it two minutes to act, to allow the active ingredients to reach the places they're supposed to, where they can protect the hair. This blue fluid alone generates 47 million euros in earnings. It's supposed to stimulate hair growth. The researchers in the company's laboratories believe caffeine shampoos, conditioners and hair tonics prevent the male hormone testosterone from damaging hair follicles. Caffeine inhibits and blocks the process. That means it extends growth phases so that not as much hair falls out. In that way it protects hair from the undesired effects of testosterone. The family-run business registered a healthy 12% growth last year. It's run by two cousins. Every year they release a new anti-baldness product onto the market. But we asked if they really work. And if so, why are there still so many bald men in Germany? Because too few men begin early enough, that's why. We also know that the process of losing hair is a complex one, and there are side effects that we have no influence over. Stress, cancer treatment and poor nutrition. Sometimes the hereditary factors are just too strong and the treatment is started too late. The company's factory in Bielefeld is looking for more skilled staff to help meet increasing demand. Just 200 millilitres of caffeine-containing shampoo, conditioner or hair tonic cost between 3 and 7 euros. Despite the price, more and more men around the world are investing in the products. Growth is strong in Eastern Europe and the Middle East. Iran, Saudi Arabia, Dubai. They have lots of hair problems there related to head coverings. The firm's history began more than 100 years ago with iron tablets. Company founder Dr. August Wolf was a pharmacist. His great-grandchildren grew up with the firm. Now they're running it. This old piece of machinery brings back fond childhood memories. It was made in the 1950s. Back then, the company's main product was a hair tonic designed to promote personal hygiene. The basic idea was to develop a medicinal hair tonic to prevent dandruff and greasy hair. Men tended to have greasy hair then because they didn't wash very much. And that's how medicinal hair tonic was born. This advertising spot from the 1950s shows men that preventing hair loss is as simple as applying the company's hair tonic. The firm's advertising campaigns play on men's fear of going bald. Nowadays, men can even upload a photo of themselves to a website to find out what nature may have in store for them. The baldness predictor breeds fear and attracts customers. We want men to know they can do something about it. The company spends more than 30 million euros a year on advertising. That's more than the company spends on research and development. That's because we're active in a lot of markets and our competitors are all international corporations that do a lot of advertising. To keep up, we have to advertise a lot too. Back in the company hair salon, 200 milliliters of the so-called double effect shampoo cost six euros 99 in drugstores. But does it really help? Yes, but nobody's saying it prevents hair loss entirely. We can provide the roots with ideal conditions and keep them alive longer, thereby delaying the process. If someone has hereditary hair loss like me, you can't prevent it forever. You can only delay it. That's what this is all about. Caffeine shampoos give men hope and encourage growth. 
at least as far as Dr. Wolf's profits are concerned. 